Hey everybody, Carl with Race Gas Customs here in Albuquerque, New Mexico. And I got a killer guitar for you guys today. I know a lot of people have been checking out the pictures of this one as it's been being built. Uh, so let's get right to it. This is a, a Les Paul style guitar that I built for my buddy Richard in Sydney, Australia. He has a studio down there and he wanted a really premium piece uh, to to show off in his studio and also let me uh, kind of expand uh, my skills a little bit. So I had definitely had a challenge in building this one. So let's get uh, into the details here. It's a quilted maple top. It's one piece. It does not have a center seam in it. This is a very rare, very expensive piece of wood to get. Uh, we put that on top of Honduras mahogany. You can see we even inlaid in the wood here in uh, ebony. The outline of Australia. Nobody's going to have anything like that down there. Black Limba neck with the Macassar Ebony fretboard. Real mother of pearl inlays on this. Of course, I only use premium hardware. I got the hip shot tuners on there. I had some custom knobs made for this one. You can see there's like an amber pearl it mixed into the plastic so they completely changed color according to the light and used the open geared tuners there so I could match the black and gold theme front and back. Richard wanted something really special for the electronics in this guitar. These pickups are called Doyle coils. Um, I had never heard of them before but apparently they're very popular in England and Australia and uh, I actually got to talk to the owner of that company. This was Les Paul's last project that he worked on before he died. Uh, Les Paul did not like Gibson humbuckers. He absolutely hated them. Um, and so this was his life's accomplishment to try to make the ultimate humbucker pickup. So uh, these are very rare, uh, very expensive pieces in here, but man, do they sound good. And of course that's matched up with nothing but premium electronics in this. As far as the finish goes, Richard wanted a Cobra Burst, uh, which is what Gibson calls this finish. You dye this completely black, sand it off, and all the black stays in the, in the grain of the wood and comes out with this really cool pattern. And then you shade the edges with transparent black lacquer. Um, in the light, bright light, this grain actually goes all the way through to the edge. That's not a solid black, even though it may look like it on the screen. I had a lot of fun building this guitar. It absolutely screams when it's on stage. Um, and it really challenged my abilities. And man, this is definitely the best guitar that I've built so far. So thank you very much, Richard, for letting me build this for you. And thank you guys for watching my videos. Uh, I know I get a lot of feedback on these. And I really appreciate it. Thank you.